Taliban claimed responsibility for killing two American service members in Afghanistan. Uh, leaders as disparate as President Obama and President Trump have both said that they want to end U.S. involvement in Afghanistan, but it isn't over for America. Why isn't it over? Why can't presidents of very different parties and very different temperaments get us out of there? And how could you? I appreciate that question. So I've, I've been in Congress 17 years, and 12 of those years I've sat on the Armed Services Committee, either the Defense Appropriations Committee or the Armed Services Committee. And the lesson that I've learned over the years is that you have to stay engaged in these situations. Nobody likes it, it's long, it's tedious, but right now we have, so I would say we must be engaged in this. We must have our State Department engaged, we must have our military engaged to the, st to the extent they need to be, but the reality of it is this president doesn't even have people appointed in the State Department to deal with these things. Whether we're talking about Central America, whether we're talking about Iran, whether we're talking about Afghanistan, we've got to be completely engaged. And here's why. Because these flare-ups distract us from the real problems in the country. If we're if getting a drone shot down for $130 million because the president is distracted, that's $130 million that we could be spending in places like Youngstown, Ohio, or Flint, Michigan, Ryan, or, re that, or rebuilding. Congresswoman or Gabbard, rebuilding. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, actually, to is jump off what he what said. He will, described is engagement that what you as the problem. will tell the parents of those two soldiers who were just killed in Afghanistan? Well, we just have to be engaged. As a soldier, I will tell you, that answer is unacceptable. We have to bring our troops home from Afghanistan. We are in a place in Afghanistan where we have lost so many lives. We've spent so much money, money that's coming out of every one of our pockets, money that should be going into communities here at home, meeting the needs of the people here at home. We are no better off in Afghanistan today than we were when this war began. This is why it's so important to have a president and commander in chief who knows the cost of war and who's ready to do the job on day one. I am ready to do that job when I walk into the Oval Office. Thank you very much. Listen, I'm gonna go down the line. I'm gonna go down the line. I'm gonna go down the line here. Well, you know what? You felt you felt like she was responding. You get 30 seconds. Go. Fair enough. I appreciate that. I hear what you're saying. I would just say I don't want to be I don't want to be engaged. I wish we were spending all this money in places that I've represented that have been completely forgotten and we were rebuilding. But the reality of it is if the United States isn't engaged, the Taliban will grow and they will have bigger, bolder terrorist acts. We have got to have some present there. As, the as, the as Taliban was Iraq. there long before we came in. They'll yeah, be and they there were, long yeah, before we exactly. leave. Well, we cannot they were. keep U.S. And troops they were deployed flying. to Afghanistan thinking that we're going to somehow squash this Taliban I that has say, been there that every other country that's them. trying to them. I didn't say squash them. When we weren't in there, they started flying planes into our buildings. So I'm just saying right now, the we Taliban have The Taliban didn't attack us on 9-11. Al-Qaeda did. Well, I understand. Al-Qaeda attacked us on 9-11. I understand. That's why I and so I many other people joined the military to go I after Al Qaeda, that. not the Taliban. The Taliban, the Taliban ahead, up was seconds. protecting those people who were plotting against us. All I'm saying is, if we want to go in to elections and we want to say that we got to withdraw from the world, that's what President Trump is saying. We okay. can't. I would love you know for who's us protecting to. protecting Al Qaeda right now. I want to go Saudi down. Arabia. 